In all the universe, the only power beyond the mind's comprehension is the power to comprehend the power of the mind. If any one of us could unlock this terrible power, would we use it to explore the mysteries of the infinite, or would we use it to destroy? Yes, yes! Tremble, Earthlings! Tremble before the might of General Skunkape! <laughs> Skunk Ape may be a tool, but he brings a refreshingly childlike glee to his work. Yeah, Max. It's hard to stay mad at the guy. Witness Sam and Max with my unstoppable dreadnought. She cool at my side. And the power trapped in the fuzzy one's grip. I will destroy your beautiful planet and then dominate the entire galaxy. Totally ruin the moment. Ah, uh, wait, which one of us is the fuzzy one? It's a familiar tale. A power mad space gorilla pitted against a canine detective and a sociopathic bunny with psychic powers. But, my friends, this story is different. In this story, you are in control. Only you can release our heroes from General Skunkape's bizarre space zoo. Only you can guide them in their quest to bring the villain to space justice. Are you ready? Let's begin by finding the proper tool. If I could just reach my gun, we could administer an old-school freelance police-style beatdown to that guy. I can't wait to get my stinking paws on that damn dirty ape! Simmer down, Max. Check out Stinky's cell phone. We're gonna need that and your creepy new brain powers to get out of this cage. Never drink when I'm on a case. Simmer down, Max. Check out Stinky's cell phone. We're gonna need that and your creepy new brain powers to get out of this cage. now inside the dankest recesses of Max's mind, where you can attempt to control his horrible psychic abilities, unlocked by the toys of power. Teleport well done, my friends. Now select a phone number that Max has memorized to teleport him... Freelance police. Oh, baby, I've missed you. Ooh. Now what? Listen to the brain! Hey, Sam, it's our new pal, the disembodied alien brain. The same. I am speaking to you telepathically. No one else can hear me, Sam and Max. I can. Shut up! Your Earth weapons will never be enough to defeat General Skunkape. Don't you still have that homing beacon? Hmm? What's that? 
Did you really believe it would be that easy? Kinda, yeah. We're gonna need some kind of cover to get up close and personal with Skunk Ape. Max, remember that you have been blessed with the gift. You must unlock your abilities with the remaining toys of power. Behold! Uh, hang on. Uh, there we go. It's a lump of rhinoplasty, the wacky modeling clay that promises hours of fun. And delivers about five to ten minutes worth. Max, the rhinoplasty will grant you the incredible power of shape-shifting. You can use the rhinoplasty to pick up a picture of any inanimate object. Then, use the power of your mind to transform into that object. It's fun! Try to look leafy and inconspicuous, Max. I always do. Well done, Freelance Police. Now, you must get that homing beacon onto General Skunkape before he reaches the Bronx, or all will be lost. Hmm? Oh, uh... Plant. I love what you've done with the place, my queen. Now what? Now we just use the remote control Mama Bosco gave us, and Skunk Ape gets sucked right in the penal zone, so to speak. Sam and Max, but I'm far too strong to be captured again. Soon this gateway will close, and there will be nothing to stop me. What do we do now, Sam? I don't know. With all the flashing lights and panels up here, there must be something that can help. How are we supposed to get up there? The door's locked. Mm -hmm. I can't open the doors now, but I have an idea. Before he was imprisoned, your friend, the Mole Man, was screaming something about taking over the ship. Find out what he knows. I never drink when I'm on a case. Hey, Harry, do you know how we can beat Skunk Ape? Poor Harry. General Skunk Ape put him in this penny-conscious terrarium to make an example out of him. Even if he could hear you through the glass, Sam, the sun lamp has made him even more worthless than usual. Max, you'll have to use another one of the toys of power. It's an ordinary deck of playing cards. Or is it? Max, 
The playing cards have granted you the power to thrust your consciousness into the fleshy minds of others and pluck out their most intimate thoughts. Ew. Only you could take something as beautiful and natural as telepathy and make it sound wrong. You, Harry. Your name is Harry Mullman. Your serial number is 2483562. Your cell number is 2125554865. Your favorite color is taupe. You have an infection of the lower. Okay, that's enough of that. Hey, Sam, I got Harry Mullman's phone number. Nice work, little buddy. Make sure you wait three days to call, or he'll think you're desperate. Excellent, Max. That phone number might be enough, because General Skunkape locked the Mole Man's cell phone and other belongings inside this container. Good job, Max. Now there must be something here that'll help us knock Skunky back into the penal zone. Hey, Brain! Aren't you hooked into all the controls of this spaceship or something? Can you give us a hand with this thing? Let's be a little more sensitive. He doesn't have hands. So what's he gonna do, punch me? No hands. to savor this. Sam. Hey, Skunky, say hello to my little body. <laughs> Friends, you have just participated in a troubling vision of the future, the first of many such disturbing revelations. Over the next five chapters, you will witness things that baffle you, horrify you, even disgust you. But you must not look away. Pay close attention to everything that you see and hear. Because when our story reaches its ball-tingling climax, only you, my friends, will possess the ability to save the entire universe. Hey Sam! This haunted toy I found just gave me an uncanny vision of our violent future! 
I know, I saw it too, somehow. Did your version have credits? It had a spaceship, a friendly alien brain in a jar, and an evil space gorilla trying to destroy the city. What could it all mean? Creatures of Earth, I am General Skunkape. Hear my words. I have come to you with a message of peace and love. Eh, uh, sorry about that building. What it all mean? It means we've got to find a way on board that spaceship, Max. My friends, you seem a bit confused. But there's no cause for alarm. We've merely let the story get ahead of itself. Let's take a brief journey back to properly set the scene. Our story begins 25 minutes ago, on a street very much like this one. This is Sam and Max, Freelance Police, Mobile Division. Hello, Commissioner. No, we're not in the office. We're locked out of our building. It wasn't my fault this time! Gaping, treacherous crack in the street and those pansies from City Hall shut down the whole block! What's that, Commissioner? A sudden wave of lawfulness and goodwill spreading through the city? No, we didn't have anything to do with that. There aren't any crimes for us to solve? Okay, then. We'll be on the lookout for anything suspicious. The brain is dying. I'll have to call you back, Commissioner. Max has psychic powers now, apparently. That should bring us all up to speed. Now, where were we? Something about a spaceship. Hmm, what could it all mean? It means we've got to find a way on board that spaceship, Max. Hello, sir. Mr. President. President, you are the ruler of this planet? Oh, no. I'm just President of the United States. We're only one of many United Nations working You're together alone to here, achieve... Sir. You can speak freely. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm in charge, pretty much. Perfect. Just the one I wanted to see. <laughs> Keep the hands where we can see him, pal. But of course. I have come to your pitiful, beautiful world for a peaceful exchange of technology. All oh, the wonders of the galaxy, yours. <laughs> What's the catch? No catch. <laughs> All I ask in return is your help while my research assistants search for an artifact of interest to my people. What's this about an artifact? It is the eyes of Yogg-Sogoth. 
one of hundreds of magical toys scattered throughout the galaxy by the Great Comet. It's believed to give the holder the power to see the future. What a coincidence! I was just... He was just saying how he wished he could see the future, so he and I would stop showing up to work wearing the same thing. It gets pretty awkward. Does the General want a banana? I see. Because I resemble your Earth gorillas, you assume I want a banana. I'm glad to see that Earthlings are still so charmingly racist. Relax, buddy. We're just making sure you're getting enough potassium. You're not from around here, are you? Guilty. You could tell by the accent, right? <laughs> no, I have traveled from a planet hundreds of light years away from your own. It was once a beautiful, swampy and muggy world. The air dancing with swarms of mosquitoes. The stillness of the night punctuated only by the mewling of infants and the drunken revelries of toothless secessionists. Its name would be impossible for your earth tongues to pronounce, but my people know it as Pensacola. Just wondering, how much do you pay for security on a ship like that? Security? You know, laser grids, explosive time locks, that kind of thing. We're just curious. <laughs> My spaceship and the wonders aboard it are open to all the feeble people of Earth. It's no fun when they don't put up a fight! Alright, we'll uh, let you know if we find that artifact. After clearing it through the Department of Homeworld Security first. Just a formality. Go in peace. It's General Skunk Ape's horrible spaceship. Good likeness. This place looks eerily familiar. Check it out, Max. The control center for invaders from distant stars. Yeah, yeah, alien spaceship. Seen it? I just want to get to the part where I have those sweet psychic powers. You just need our friend the brain to hook you up and... Oh no, he's dead! Didn't he look more moist in the future? We've got to find some way to wake him up so he can explain what's going on. Future vision. You did it, Sam and Max! You awakened me from the sleep of 100 deaths! How did you do it? Easy peasy. All it took was Stinky's demon broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. Well, you heard the mean little buddy. We've got to find some demon broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. Demisade, ladies! Big winner coming through! Congratulations! Hey pal, we want to ask you- I've been listening to suits like you for too long already. You can dig your own tunnels now, while I enjoy an all-expenses-paid off-world vacation. So long, suckers! <laughs> And that is why we're doing a staycation this year. Weird. There's a hard hat and some kind of vacation ticket. All the personal effects confiscated from our fuel resources are collected and donated to various intergalactic Mole Man charities. What a nice gesture. We should leave it for when that Mole Man gets back, Sam. I think he uh, went to live on a farm to play with other Mole Men. Oh, <laughs> check if he left his wallet. No such luck.
aliens invade city. Wow, those newspaper guys are getting pretty aggressive with their up-to-date reporting. Eh, they probably just write a bunch of alien guerrilla stories in advance and just change the dates. It's been months and they still haven't sealed up this crack. Somebody should do something about it. I say we all wear gray ribbons to raise crack awareness. Sheesh, the mole people are taking their own sweet time getting our subway station back into shape. Well, to be fair, they've been subcontracting to the Mutant Alligators Union. Those guys are notorious loafers. Rosemary keeps wandering off and leaving this thing behind. This broken gumball machine always makes me wistfully nostalgic for earlier times. Like that time we smashed this gumball machine! That was great! Hey! Either you guys seen Charlie? He was supposed to be back by now! Four square and seven brides ago. It's a sculpture of Abe Lincoln's head. Sheesh, what will it take to get rid of that guy? He's not a real guy, Max. I can't be positive, but it seems to be made out of... pudding? Is it the annual Citywide Pudding Festival already? I feel unprepared. As much as I'd love to get over there, I'm not quite willing to swim through the muck. Come on, I dare ya! Stinky's Diner. In the mood for some delicious, nutritious food, Max? Not at all. Then we've come to the right place. Stinky's Diner, the perfect place to catch up with old friends. And meet new ones, like emergency medical technicians and the friendly folks at Poison Control. Is anybody gonna eat this? I knew Flint Paper was brave. But ordering spaghetti a la stinky is just plain reckless. Hmm. They still haven't added banjo and bagpipe fantasia or anything by Max's favorite Chilean new metal bands. It's almost like those 42,000 comments and suggestions cards I filled out were a waste of time.
It's locked from the inside. It's just as well. Seeing how they make the food would ruin the magic. You're right, pal. I didn't want to go in there anyway. Oh, hi, Barney and Jug Jug. Barney and Jug Jug? Ugh, you're not even trying with the names anymore, are you? Look, I've got a lot going on. Can I just give you your key or your crystal shard or whatever it is you're looking for so you guys can go off and do whatever it is you do? Sorry, Stinky. We gotta go through all the questions. It's the rules. Whatever. Okay, let's see. I'll take a double bacon cheddar butter deluxe, heavy on the wacky sauce, two orders of the jalapeno cheesy poofters, Rhode Island style. No, three! Okay, three. And let's throw in one of the eight bean casseroles with extra onion rings and finish it off with a jumbo-sized frosty banana mint pickle cyclone chugger with extra jimmies. Small side salad, please. Oh, and some bangers and mash. Hold the mash. I'm on break. You haven't seen a futuristic power core around here, have you? What? No, of course not. <laughs> uh, uh, what does it look like? Futuristic? Core-shaped, kind of powerish. Nope, nope, haven't seen it. <laughs> Mama Bosco would know about that kind of thing. I mean, I'm guessing. What happened to your fry cook? Yeah, what was his name? Sal or Pablo or Muhammad or something? You boys must be mistaken. It's always been just me here, working the kitchen, no one else. <laughs> That's why I'm so grateful Grandpa Stinky's back. The aliens have landed. Oh, really? I haven't heard anything about that at all. Keep your guard up. We're about 99.8% sure he's evil. He's not even human! Things must be easier now that Grandpa Stinky's back. Oh yes, it's heaven. Look at what he's doing to the place. He's totally destroying the ambiance. Yeah, this place used to be an aggravated assault on all five senses. Now it's just a misdemeanor battery. Six senses, Sam. You always have the uncanny premonition of severe stomach upset in your future. You and Grandpa Stinky should patch things up. Can't you see what it's doing to Max? I hate it when they fight! Oh, I don't think Grandpa Stinky is going to be a problem for much longer. Intriguing! I signed us up for relationship counseling and a business management seminar. No. Oh. See you again soon, Stinky. Yeah, take your time. I guess having just a jukebox wasn't loud and annoying enough. Ooh, you'd like to steal my super secret demon broth recipe, wouldn't you? Well, hands off! Oh, good. You two are back to barrage me with your inane questions. We missed you too, Grandpa Stinky. Did the health inspectors ever make you wear a beard net? What's cooking? Oh, you'd like me to tell you about me demon broth, wouldn't you? So you can steal another patent! Come on, you're not still angry about that, are you? That was like 30 years ago! And that's 30 years I could have been living off the riches from a gooey molasses tar cake. Can't you at least tell us what's in it? If you're so curious about it, pick up a can after I've made a fortune selling it to every grocery store from here to Madagascar. What's so great about that demon broth anyway? What's great is that it's nutrient rich, that it's mine, and that I'm not letting you two parasites anywhere near it. Once I perfected this recipe, I'll never need to worry about money again. Isn't it kind of overkill to have a radio and a jukebox? Anything to drown out the noise my granddaughter calls music. It ruins the digestion. To be fair, Sam, Stinky's food does require you to be 100% focused on digestion. Stay cheerful, Grandpa Stinky. Ah. Future vision. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so long, suckers! What about your super secret demon broth? <laughs> Take it! After today, I never need to worry about money again! We interrupt this program for a breaking news bulletin. Officials for the city's $700 million lottery jackpot drawing have announced that there is one winning ticket sold to unemployed and somewhat pathetic Molopolis resident, Harry Molman. I was hoping you'd call. No, 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 don't speak. Those detectives are finally gone, but someone might be listening in. We should meet in person. Perfect. I'll leave right away. What? Of course not. And Sam and Max don't suspect a thing. Wow, would you look at that, Max? Amazing. Tell Doris. Sorry, I wasn't more careful. Oh no, now we'll never be able to find Mama Bosco's power core. Wow, that looked painful. Hey, it's Flint Paper. Hey, you furry pals. Maybe Flint can help us with our case, Sam. Anytime, fellas. Except now. <laughs> Would you look at that? Stinky's prize-winning spaghetti. A private dick's gotta eat, you know. Do you know anything about a missing power core, Flint? Give me a break, Sam. I haven't eaten a thing since that yak's blood on my Himalayan caper. Uh, and some gummy worms. Come back when I'm done eating, would ya? Any idea when you'll be done eating, Flint? Heck, I don't know, Sam. Sometime in the future, all right? How about now? It'd be a lot sooner if you stop asking me, okay, champ? We'd feel better if you wore this hard hat, Flint. That's swell, fellas, but... Doris would want you to have it. Aw, oh, you're right, pals. I've just been thinking of myself all this time. Hand it over. Peanuts? You know I'm allergic to peanuts, Stinky. Are you trying to kill me? Oh, <laughs> kill you? Don't be silly. Something's fishy with that, dame. Now, what do you want to know? Do you know anything about a power core? Yeah, Mama Bosco hired me to find it. Standard issue, find the secret invention for the scientist before it falls into the wrong hand stuff. Even you guys could do it. Yeah, no offense. Oh yeah, we totally know where it is. We were just testing you. But I'm in the middle of a case that's one hell of a lot bigger. Don't be too hard on Stinky for almost poisoning you. I'm sure it was an honest mistake. They serve so many different kinds of toxins here, they've got their own menu. Nice try, fellas, but she's on to me. I know it. I'm getting too close on this big case of mine, and she's trying to rub me out. What's this big case you're working on? Get ready to have your furry minds blown, pals, because this one goes way back. Think about it. What do we really know about this Stinky doll? Well, the story is that Grandpa Stinky actually created her using some kind of demonic spell, and she's been running the diner ever since. Right, some crazy story you'd have to be an idiot to believe. Right, idiot. So I started digging around, and I found this out back. Stinky, my queen, I cannot wait any longer. I will be making my grand appearance this afternoon. You say they won't trust me because I'm not human, but damn the consequences. We must start phase two of the operation now. I will call your private number with the details. Love, S. An inhuman monster, in bed with Stinky, planning something big this afternoon. Name starts with S. You know what that means. Skunk ape. Oh, well, yeah, that, that could be it. I was thinking it was you, Sam. You think you know a guy. I'm not angry, Sam, just very disappointed. 
Come on, Max. If Stinky's in cahoots with General Skunk Ape, it may have something to do with that missing power core. Good luck, fellas. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Sam, I may be psychic now, but I've got no idea how we're gonna find out Stinky's private phone number. P.S. Just to make sure, your private number is still 212-555-8942, isn't it? See ya, Flint. Hey, do my eyes look puffy to you guys? Always. I think I'd better go see Doris. She's my allergy specialist. Man, is she gonna blow her stack when she hears about those peanuts. Welcome to a bold new reimagining of the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society. Yeah. What are you doing in our car? I said you guys could hang out in our car until you found your own place, but it's been months now. You have been randomly selected to enjoy a free trial of the Crime Hyphen Tron XL at no cost to you. What happened to that bluster blaster machine you used to hang out with? He has traveled with user Vasco to Las Vegas, Nevada. What's an outdated arcade machine supposed to do in Vegas? He doesn't even have any money! Bluster Blaster received a generous workers' compensation settlement upon his termination from Pimplica. We cannot comment while litigation is pending. See ya, cops. End of line. Why do we have jumper cables? Neither of us knows how to use them. It's simple, Sam. The red cable goes on the right nipple, and the black cable clamps to Neither the... Neither of us knows how to use them legally, Max. Hello, and welcome to the Televoice Communitron Extreme 5000, with over 800 messaging features available. Oh boy! Now I can finally set up my 24-hour adults-only naked bunny chat line. We're sorry. We've lost my manual for that feature. Can you make phone calls? That I can handle. Please say the name of the person you want to call. You've reached Bosco Tech Labs, the city's leading research facility for scientific breakthroughs with a woman's touch. Science and woman's touch are two things you hardly ever hear together. I'm dead right now, but feel free to call again later. Mr. Pizza, I want an extra large thick crust with one half peanut butter and passion fruit, the other half with watermelon only. You want cheesy dingles, Max? You have to ask? Okay, and two, no three orders of cheesy dingles. Gouda, no, three. Right, an extra fudge sauce. Okay, thanks. How long till it gets here? Probably never, Max. Nobody answered. Hello, and welcome to the COPS version 2.5. What's this business about a free trial? You have selected to hear more about the Crimetron XL. In a world where thugs and supervillains rule the streets, only the most technologically advanced crime stoppers will emerge victorious. Submit clues gathered from your investigations, and we will analyze the living hell out of them. Let's try out the Crimetron right now. We're sorry, the Crimetron XL may not yet be available in some areas. We are still recruiting members for the COPS. For the last time, we are not letting your Japanese robot dog into this group. We talked about this. That dog is straight up creepy. Do you guys know where to find something called a power core? What's his problem? We were forced to witness Mama Bosco tearing apart circuit boards to construct her power core. We prefer not to talk about it. It was horrible. 
Now, talking to you guys is great and all, but could we have our car back? If you'd like to drive somewhere, use the handy city map contained in the glove box. Hey, Sam, isn't our car still possessed by demons? It is not so bad as long as you do not try to run the air conditioner. See ya, cops. End of line. Spooky! M -m -m Mama B Bosco? Get out! <clears throat> Get out of here! It's Sam and Max! Uh, hiya, Harry. We were looking for Mama Bosco. Do not be afraid! Mama Bosco has passed on to the other realms! But I shall attempt to establish a link to... Oh, there she is! Hey, good-looking! Oh, hey, guys! Mama Bosco sends greetings from the Ethereal Plains! Welcome to the labs. You're my first visitor. Wait! I was your first visitor! Right. Thanks, Sam and Max. This is exactly what I need to turn my life around. Harry's got a great, big, wonderful surprise waiting for him. And to think all it took was this. Are you sure you can't make those future visions last a little longer, Max? Oh, that would take all the fun out of it. So long, suckers! Prepare yourselves, mole women of outer space! The Love Digger is on his way! <laughs> I know what would cheer you up, Harry. An all-expenses-paid vacation. You actually have one of Skunkopi's golden tickets? Well, that's a nice gesture, but I don't take charity. I'd have to give you something in return. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a lottery ticket, would you? Well, sure, I buy one every week, but it's worthless. I never win anything. I mean, uh, it's incredibly valuable to me. I don't know if I could part with it. Okay, then. See ya, Harry. Wait, I can part with it. Just give me that vacation ticket. So long, suckers! Prepare yourselves, mole women of outer space! The Love Digger is on his way! <laughs> Future vision. My missing power core. I knew you were the right one to find it, Flint Paper. I was nothing. What can I do for you boys? Do you happen to know anything about a power core? Where did you hear about that? From Mag... 
magazines about pamphlets? Hmm. I had a power core stolen from my lab. Who do you think stole your power core? No idea. I've got a, um, real detective on the case, though. It's a good thing we're trying to steal it, too, or we'd be offended by that remark. Couldn't have come at a worse time, either. I've almost got my dimensional destabilizer working, but the dimensional rift generator is useless without power. Man, if I had a nickel for every time I didn't understand what you just said. You're a doctor. Can you tell us anything about late-onset male psychic dysfunction? Psychic powers? It's probably a melon-sized deadly tumor. Probably? Well, it could be mind worms, of course. But I don't want to be alarmist. Most likely, it's the deadly tumor. Couldn't Max just have the perfectly safe kind of non-lethal psychic powers? Oh, it's Max. Uh, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, then. Could you, uh, have him stand a little farther away from my machines, though? Are these psychic powers dangerous for Max at all? Well, probably not, if he's careful and only uses them responsibly. And what if it's Max? Well, he'll overwork his brain so much that it catches fire and explodes. Oh, I have got to see that! You can't see that, Max. Your brain will catch fire and explode. Well, that's why you'll have to record it for me, Sam. Duh! What did this power core thing look like? What a question. It looks like a power core. You know, that's like asking what a Banderpunk particle emitter looks like. Dr. Mama Bosco, your lab is actually pretty impressive. Bosco's inventions always kind of, well... Uh, sucked. Yes, well, he was always a special boy. See you on the other side, Dr. Mama Bosco. Not if I can get this destabilizer working. Harry must have dug his way in here. They say they don't like to be in bright sunlight, but I say it's just an excuse to do more property damage. A brilliant excuse! Hey, Max, why don't you hop in there and see where it leads? Yeah, sure! Crawl through a narrow tunnel to nowhere filled with Harry Mole Man Spore. Great idea! Hello, operator? Oops, sorry. You know how those spirits are once they get talking about the good old days when they were alive. I guess we can't make outgoing calls. Are you guys ready to help us fight crime? search for new recruits. If you spot any unused office equipment, be sure to hook a brother up. We're all torn up about stealing your patent 30 years ago, Grandpa Stinky. Maybe this will make up for it. A watery ticket. <laughs> Don't you know that nobody ever wins these stupid... We interrupt this program for a breaking news bulletin.
Officials for the city's $700 million lottery jackpot drawing have announced that there is one winning ticket sold to unemployed and somewhat pathetic Milopolis resident, Harry Molman. This just in, in a surprising upset, we're told that the winning ticket was transferred to local diner owner, Grandpa Stinky. <laughs> Sorry, Harry Molman. Better luck next time. Did you hear that? I told you I would win. <laughs> so long, suckers. We've been hearing that an awful lot lately. What about your super secret demon broth? <laughs> Take it. After today, I never need to worry about money again. We better find a use for this quick, Max. I don't like the way it sloshes around in my coat and gets everything disconcertingly moist. Oh, sure. Blame the demon broth. This phone only accepts Dutch Gilder coins. Sorry, Sam. All I've got are some yuan, a few euros, and six bucks in Italian lira. Where do you keep all that change? In my sock, of course. You're naked. Where do you keep your sock? That's none of your damn business. I was hoping you'd call. No, 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 don't speak. Those detectives are finally gone, but someone might be listening in. We should meet in person. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> we should go to uh, that place with the things that you like. Perfect. I'll leave right away. See you wherever that is, then, uh, my love. Oh yeah, one more thing. Are your corn dogs really made with 100% pure beef? What? Of course not. And Sam and Max don't suspect a thing. Woo, well that's a relief. Ever since the dairy freeze shut down, Stinky's corn dogs have been my only source of nutritious pig sphincters. Wow, would you look at that, Max? Amazing. It's a secret passage, Sam. Really not that big a deal. low-tech audio video equipment tossed out like pianos from a falling zeppelin and it's still warm documentary filmmakers must be lurking nearby some secret passage it's just a bunch of junk like this old scanner <laughs> oh boy whose head did we explode first not that kind of scan what the hey look it's mama bosco's futuristic power core what was it doing down here that's a mystery for another episode max
<laughs> it's too bad you don't have a nose, cause you smell delicious! This should give that brain the jolt he needs to face the morning. Now we just need some way to hook it up. That power core won't do any good unless... You did it, Sam and Max! You awakened me from the sleep of 100 deaths! How did you do it? Easy peasy. All it took was Stinky's demon broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. Don't forget the jumper cables, Sam. They were very important. Whatever the case, listen carefully. Do not trust General Skuncafe. He is... He is... Whoa. Something's happening. Toys detected. Toys detected. What are you doing, Brain? Cut it out. I can't help it. I'm... Um. Yogsagoth Nagulurum. Yogsagoth Nagulurum. Gordon's alive! I mean, what a pleasant surprise. Tell me, friend Brain, where is the toy? Two toys. Too weak. Can't trace. Uh... Curses! Very well. I'll find them myself. Is he gone? Yeah, the coast is clear. What just happened? I don't know. I've never felt anything like that. The toys of this planet must have astonishing power. Where is Skunk Ape's collection of magic toys? He keeps them on display as a show of power. I'm regaining control over the ship's functions so I can reveal them to you. Behold! That's it? That's it! It's a toy that lets you teleport across vast distances in the blink of an eye using only the power of your mind. That's not cool enough for you? It's just, we saw more toys in Max's vision. More toys? You must not have found them yet. They must still be somewhere in this city. You have to find them before Skunkape does, or he'll destroy us all! Sam and Max, do not trust Skunkape! His benevolent facade belies a heart of pure evil! Uh, yeah, we kind of already figured that out. The giant fanged spaceship with disintegrator eyes was our first clue. Are you calling me gullible? Uh, what? Look, I don't know what planet you're from. This one, actually. But on my world, if an alien invites you onto his spaceship, you don't just assume that he's going to cut out your brain and keep it in a jar. I guess we're just not that cynical. To be fair, Max, your future vision goggles did tip us off. You mean, you wield the eyes of Yog sagoth But, but that must mean you also have the gift. What is Skunk Ape's evil scheme, anyhow? No less than domination of the entire universe! Did he ever mention anything more specific? He's traveling from planet to planet, searching for all the toys of power. If he ever manages to collect all of them, he'll be completely unstoppable! Why did Skunk Ape come here, to our street? He's been using my strange psychic connection to the Toys of Power to track them throughout the galaxy. Something very powerful pulled me to this spot. I can only guess it was Max's discovery of the Eyes of Yog sagoth and the Future Vision. How are we supposed to stop Skunk Ape? Any weaknesses, like he's powerless against the color yellow, or he can't cross running water? Or he's powerless against yellow water? I know what you're thinking, Max, and stop it. Well, of course, the toys of power are useless to him without a gifted brain to control them. Apart from that, he always says he has a weakness for potato chips, and he has to eat the whole bag. Yeah, that doesn't really help us much. Sometimes, when he's in the shower, I could swear I hear him crying. Okay, that's all the evidence we need. Let's go out and deliver some interplanetary justice, Max. If you end up cutting out his brain, I call dibs on Skunkape's body!
spaceship is secure. If I could have a moment, sirs. Hello, Sam, Mr. President. If you have a moment, you need to be debriefed. Too late! This may come as a shock, but our intel indicates that General Skunkape is actually quite evil. No! Okay, what's the real story behind Skunk Ape? General Skunk Ape is an intergalactic criminal warlord. There's been a galaxy-wide gorilla hunt in effect ever since he escaped from the penal zone. The what zone? Penal. It's an interdimensional prison for the most dangerous villains in the universe. How are we supposed to get Skunk Ape back into the penal zone? The United Planets have simple and easily reproducible fail-safe measures in place to handle escaped convicts. Well, that's a relief. All we need to do is open an unstable trans-dimensional gateway to the penal zone, and his prisoner's badge will take care of the rest. I didn't notice Skunk Ape wearing any kind of badge or homing beacon. That's because he wasn't wearing one, sir. I find it extraordinarily alarming. Whoa, 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 calm down. We can't think with all your hysterics. Forgive me, Mr. President, but unless you can find General Skunkape's homing beacon and place it on him, we're powerless to stop him. What did this homing beacon look like? It's a standard issue intergalactic correctional facility inmate's badge. It can't be destroyed, so the only way he could have gotten rid of it is by giving it to someone else. We have to open an unstable, trans-dimensional gateway? You must have lost your senses, man! The odds against that are astronomical! Even if we did know what that was. The gateway is the easy part, sirs. Dr. Mama Bosco's reckless and blasphemous work tearing down the fabric of reality could be useful. What do we need from Mama Bosco? Her dimensional destabilizer can open a gateway to the penal zone. Anyone wearing a prisoner's homing beacon will be returned to justice automatically and scientifically. Don't worry, Super Ball. We'll hit that gorilla where it hurts the most. Right in the penal yes, zone! I get it, sir. Whee! Aren't you going to try the teleportation power? Sure, we'll try it out later. Oh, okay. Hmm. Is everything okay, Brain? It's just, I've never seen it. I'm just a brain in a jar. Can't really use it. It sounded cool as all. Okay, fine. We'll do it now. Max, this unassuming telephone unlocks the gift of teleportation. Using the power of your mind, you can teleport yourself to any phone number you have memorized. Oh boy, I want to try it right now! I don't like the thought of you teleporting off without me, Max. You can go too, Sam. Max will teleport anyone he's touching. Y watch the hands! to self. When traveling through Max's brain, keep your eyes shut. It's Stinky's cell phone, but why would she have left it behind? Especially since she's got 18 months left on her contract. Either there was some kind of struggle, or it was left here for us to find and we're walking right into a trap. I've got it! She waived her early cancellation fees with a recommended device upgrade. So now we know two things. You're an idiot, and this phone is going to lead us directly to General Skunk Ape, somehow.
No. Hey, Brain, can you open this door for us? You want to go into the mole processing room? But it's a horrible place! Official business. Besides, it's for mole people only. Perfect! We're part mole man! Odd, you don't look molish. By marriage. There were rituals. Very well, I will try. Welcome. Congratulations. Prepare yourself for a fabulous off-world vacation courtesy of General Skunkape. I'm very excited. Why aren't there any doors? You'll feel a slight tingle as we take your personal items for safekeeping. Slight tingle? Whoa, hey now! Oh, screw the vacation! I want to keep doing this! Error. Cannot remove inventory. Where do you keep your personal items? That's none of your damn business, computer. Very well. Beginning Mole Man processing. Sam, why is the floor so... slippery? For the comfort of guests waiting outside, please refrain from screaming or crying out. Do you smell something... burning? Sam, why haven't we ever seen any mole people come out of here? Enjoy the rest of your experience, and remember that your sacrifice is for the glory of General Skunkabe. Sacrifice? Are we going to die, Sam? Depends on whether we can think of a way out of this death trap, little buddy. Oh no, all my stuff is locked inside that container. Not even the freelance police can put me in a bad mood today. Do your worst. Oh, you thing! <laughs> it is pretty cool, isn't it? But don't touch! And no animals on the counter! We've had a sudden change of heart. We think Skunk Ape is awesome. Where do we sign up to join the Skunk Ape Army? You two? In the Skunk Ape Army? Don't make me laugh! We're really good at not making people laugh. Why can't we be in the Skunk Ape Army? For starters, have you ever actually hit anything with that gun of yours, Fido? Now that's just not nice. And as for Harvey here, he'll be a fine soldier until we run into a You must be this tall to invade this planet sign. Uh-oh, you made him angry. I'd better get out of here before things get violent. Me up the Dingle Down by Captain Cod and the Krusty Salts. Stay tuned for more shanties and breaking news. Teleportation. Your hands off me! Oh, what have you done? Welcome back. Thank you for bringing friends along to celebrate the benevolence of General Skunkape. You'll feel a slight tingle as we take your personal items for safekeeping. No one's taken my personal gold and griddles! For the comfort of guests waiting outside, please refrain from screaming or crying out. Abort! For the love of Skunkabe, abort! Voice print verified. 
Skunkape Army Sous Chef, 8th Class. Processing aborted. Sous Chef, 8th Class? After all I've done for that ungrateful monkey, he can keep his bloody hands off of my butt and pant. Fabulous off-world vacation. Well, that's ominous. Looks like Grandpa Stinky's stuff got mixed in with all of mine. What has he got in his pockets? His victory badge from Skunk Ape and... Jackpot! A collectible shot glass from Mista Pizza! Hey, you guys can't do that to me. Looks to me like we just did. At least give me back my sidekick. You'll get the rabbit once Jerome's done working him over. The name Bosco and Science go together like church and state. All right, Pigeon, hand over the shiny thing and nobody has to get hurt. Hey, careful where you drop that thing. Two in one blow, and without any significant injuries either. I think he crushed my trachea. It's an engagement ring. Sam, this is all so sudden. I I don't know what to say. Quiet, Bonehead. Hmm, I've got a feeling Skunk Ape picked it up while he was out looking for toys. Ah, oh, there's an engraving. Hard luck. Classy. It's a torn receipt for something. Skunk Ape must have dropped it when he came through here. A clue! Which store? Can't tell from half a receipt, little buddy. If only we had some way to piece all these clues together. Whee! I can't tell if that's something Mama Bosco invented, or an award Mama Bosco got for inventing something. Either way, it's pretty impressive.
Is this the remote control for your destabilizer thing, Mama Bosco? That's the one. Make sure you don't press it before you really need to, because you only get one chance. Teleportation. Are you guys still looking for a fourth member? Well, hello there, beautiful. Were your moving parts properly secured when you fell from heaven? <coughs> Do not forget our seminar on workplace harassment. Plus, I called dibs. When exactly did this get really creepy? Thank you for joining us in a brand new style of 20th century crime fighting. You can begin submitting clues to the Crime Tron whenever you find them. Any ideas on the case, cops? We're sorry, we haven't been paying attention. Scan evidence with the crime hyphen Tron and we will track down the villains without mercy. It looks like you're using the crime Tron. Would you like help? No, I got this. This receipt's only got part of an address, but not the name of the store. Item not found in database. Skunk Ape must have been at a Mista Pizza, but how can we know which one? Item not recognized. If Stinky went somewhere to meet Skunk Ape, she's probably got the number of the place on speed dial. You've discovered a new location! Skunk Ape was here 20, no, 28 minutes ago. He should really get more fiber in his diet. There's got to be some clue telling us where he went next. Keep your beady little eyes open, pal. can't get taste like that from real cheese. Uh, were we supposed to be looking for clues or something? Looks like this little fella's had his fill of Mista Pizza's rotting remnants for one day. Can I poke his belly with a pencil and make him explode in a horrific shower of dough and anchovies? Maybe later. What a senseless waste of perfectly soiled pizza boxes. The boxes are the tastiest part! These boxes have been picked clean. The pigeons carry the wood-like crusts away to build nests and primitive temples to their pigeon god. Good work, Max. Now let's see if we can... Aha! Uh -huh, a clue! Swallowed hole. I've never seen anything like that before. Looks like this little fella's had his fill of Mista Pizza's rotting remnants for one day. It's locked, broken, and doesn't go anywhere we want to go. Just like our social life. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Hot and delicious, dripping with rollover minutes. Swallowed whole. I've never seen anything like that before. Not since we accidentally wandered into that theater on Times Square. Good work, Max. Now, let's see if we can... Aha! A clue! Hmm. A vintage postcard from somebody who collects old, rare toys. What's the address? I don't know, Max. The name and most of the address are smudged out. This looks like a job for the Crimetron. And pick up that phone, Max. I'm not touching it. This postcard is from somebody who collects and sells vintage toys and family heirlooms. Skunk Ape got this ring from somewhere, but the engraving just says, hard luck. Scan complete. New location unlocked. Intergalactic Warlord business must be in a real slump if Skunk Ape is having to hit the pawn shops. He's tracking down magic toys, Max, and he must have found something inside if he left Gruesome there to guard the door. Intrigue! Future. Oldest trick in the book. Aha! Uh -huh. A banana peel. Oldest trick in the book. I could have totally carried that heavy thing a lot farther. I just didn't feel like it. This looks entirely too safe. I could have totally carried that heavy thing a lot farther. I just didn't feel like it. Aha! Uh -huh, a banana peel! Seems like a waste of a perfectly good banana peel. Down with Skunk Ape! Aliens, go home! Hey! You guys really shouldn't be littering. Surprise! Oldest trick in the book. Ball toy. Skunk Ape must have tossed it out when he realized it wasn't magical. We've got to find what store he got it from. This receipt's only got part of an address, but not the name of the store. This receipt's only got part of an address, but not the name of the store. I can make out part of the name of the store this came from, but no address. Success! A new destination has been revealed on your map. gonna find skunk ape Sam all these streets look the same shut up Max 
They're completely different streets. It's Mole Men! General Skunkabi is sweating Mole Men! Uh, spoiler warning, Harry! Sheesh! Smash your cell phone! That's how he controls you! It's Mole Men! General Skunkabi is sweating All clues lead here, but no sign of Skunk Ape. Aha! New York's lackadaisical business hours win again. But Skunk Ape will be back any second, little buddy. We'd better be ready for him. What are we gonna do once he shows up? I don't know yet. <laughs> so you have found me at last, Freelance Police. That will make everything so much easier. And you have brought the elusive toy right to me. Yes. Yes. Uh-oh. <laughs> so you have found me at last, Freelance Police. That will make everything so much easier. And you have brought the elusive toy right to me. Yes. Yes. Engines to full power! Yes! Destroy the city! Look familiar? I certainly hope that you are paying attention, my friends, because our story seems to have hurtled to its inevitable conclusion. No longer can you blindly mash buttons to unleash a torrent of irreverent banter and comic mischief. Now you are all that stands in the way of the total annihilation of the planet Earth. The villain has made his move. The players are yours to command. Only you can return General Skunkape to the penal zone. <laughs> Sam and Max? Don't tell me Skunkape wants you guys to be his love slaves, too. You'd be surprised just how many fetishes there are that involve Sam and me. What are you doing locked in here, Stinky? I've got no idea. I assumed it was Grandpa Stinky's fault. Did you lose your cell phone? Ugh, hang on a second. I am your love monkey. <laughs> yes. Hi, Skunkabe. I see you. That's very clever. <sighs> He's been texting me non-stop. I tried to throw the phone away just to get away from it. Can you call for help on your fancy futuristic phone? I already tried that when you guys were knocked out. There's no signal off this spaceship. Why aren't you out there on your throne? Yeah, isn't Skunk Ape your boyfriend? You. He wishes. He is so not my type. You only have to date an evil gorilla once to learn never to make that mistake again. Ah, oh, we've all been there, girlfriend. I think you're being too hard on Skunk Ape. He's just misunderstood. Oh yeah? Uh, did I misunderstand this picture he sent me? Good heavens! I think I should put on some clothes now. Well, Skunk Ape's got a lot of good points, too. Name one. He's got his own spaceship. I noticed. That may impress you boys, but... And the keys to your cage, so he could let you out. But then she wouldn't be able to talk to us anymore! Yoo-hoo! General Skunkape! We're all set, Max. Now we've just got to get out of this cage so we can wrap this case up once and for all. Die, Earthlings! Die! Take that! Well done, Freelance Police. Now, you must place the homing beacon on Skunkape's back to trap him in the penal zone. We're on it. Now light up those toys! The hell? Looking for these? Uh-oh. Your future viewer has proven to be most 
enlightening. <laughs> Here, use it to witness how I am going to destroy you. So, what was our plan B again? I believe you planned to turn on the dimensional destabilizer, yes? Luckily, I have my own. But I've still got the homing beacon. Exactly. <laughs> Can you believe that guy? Skunk Ape knew what we were going to do the whole time. He just wanted to rub our noses in the penal zone, so to speak. I don't like being in the penal zone, Sam. You're not supposed to, Max. It's a horrible plane of non-existence forever trapped between reality and unreality. Yeah, that and also that beeping noise is really getting on my nerves. Turn around, Max. Skunk Ape strapped an antimatter bomb on your back while we were out cold. Get rid of it! Jeez, what a jerk! We gotta get out of here, Max. Pronto! Teleportation. Gotcha! Welcome back, sirs. Uh, what just happened? I detected a spike in antimatter radiation, so I locked onto the signal from your homing beacon and reversed the polarity of the dimensional stabilization field to intercept- Yeah, yeah. Just tell us how we can get back at Skunk Ape for crimes against the Freelance Police and humanity. I say let's cover him in candy bar wrappers and feed him to starving raccoons! You failed to trap him in the penal zone? I wouldn't say failed, exactly. Uh, maybe underperformed. And we blew up the penal zone with an antimatter bomb! Oh, dear. How can I help, Sam and Max? Dr. Mama Bosco has been granted the fullest security clearance possible for a dead citizen, Mr. President. See you on the other side, Dr. Mama Bosco. Hey, neat. The eerie oozing remains of Mama Bosco's ghostly visitations. Oh, that must be ectoplasmic jelly, cause ectoplasmic jam don't shake like that! Hey, neat. Uh we'll be careful with your rift generator, Mama Bosco. Just make sure you don't turn it on until you've got that homing beacon on General Skunkapi. Did you see that, my queen? Not only did I defeat Sam and Max, but I took care of the penal zone in one stroke. Unfortunate word choice. Sam and Max, you survived! Have you returned with a, how do I put this tactfully, better thought out plan to stop Skunkape? Hey, our last plan would have worked fine if he hadn't changed the future. Yeah! How do I put this tactfully? Hmm, bite me. You'll need to get your personal belongings. Let me see if I can... <sighs> oh, that hurts. Does everyone else taste butterscotch? Thanks, Brain. Now we just need a way to get this homing beacon on Skunk Ape's back without his noticing. I can't remember the name of my elementary school. Keep it together, Brain. Okay, bye now, Grandma. Die, Earthlings! Die! Ooh. What? Don't you have planets to blow up or something? Thanks, Stinky. Hey, Brain, can you give us a hand here? Maybe cause a subtle yet stylish distraction? I grow weak, jamming tracks, and I fear my time in this wharf is drawing to a clone. 
But if I can prevent but one villain from massaging another appointment book, my sacrifice is but a small, small bacon melt to pay. Ray, could you hurry it up? Max, show some respect for this noble creature's sacrifice. Could you hurry it up, please? Donut button, Sam and Max. Donut button till we meet again in the plaid. Ah, ah. Emergency. Engine failure. Emergency. No. No! Not in my moment of triumph! Sam and Max must somehow be responsible for this. I must find them and destroy them! That's it, little buddy. Let's go. Take that! I can't plug a rift generator into that. <laughs> I'm not giving this away to just anybody. What do we do now, Sam? I don't know. The power's out in the whole building. It's a good thing Sybil packed all her junk into these boxes for safekeeping. And I'm especially glad we didn't put it in a secure, environmentally regulated storage facility like she asked us to. Yeah, this way's a lot cheaper, and everybody gets to enjoy it. I was hoping we'd teleport under an immovable pile of rubble and debris. Trapped for weeks, we'd be forced to resort to cannibalism just to survive. You keep coming up with creepy disaster scenarios that always end up with you eating me, Max. It's getting annoying. If you don't like it, then stop looking so damn tasty. to save the planet here. Intruders! They've come to defile the toy box! Kill them! No, wait, brother. Look! It is the dog and rabbit! Just as prophesied on Tablet 8, verse 32. Uh, excuse me. I'm pretty sure you mean Tablet 6, verse 24. Heretic! Looks like another in a long line of wacky cults, Max. We're in so many prophecies, we should start charging royalties. You try and entertain the other wing nuts while I find a way to power this thing up. That's the most evil looking toy chest I've ever seen. No doubt it'd unleash all kinds of horrors if we ever opened it. I'll get a crowbar! And I'll scrounge up some blasting caps. No! You mustn't open it! 
That would give General Skunkape unimaginable power to destroy us all. They're right, pal. We'd better get rid of Skunk Ape first. At least the boiler still works. That's the most evil looking toy chest I've ever seen. No doubt it'd unleash all kinds of horrors if we ever opened it. I'll get a crowbar! And I'll scrounge up some blasting caps. No! That would... They're right. Before, it sounded like you were expecting to see Max and me. Yes, you're coming with foretold in the sacred tablets and scrolls. And yea, the Devil Bunny, knowing not his true purpose, would unlock the mysteries of the toy box. Hey, Sam, it likes me. You know what that means, Obadiah. It's time, time for, for the, the apocalypse. apocalypse. You guys stay crazy. Amen. The workers left some of the cable exposed when they were busy not fixing the power in this dump. Well, it's worth a shot. Hey, Max, want to come here and ground me? You're pushing 40 in dog years, you're not a very good detective, and it looks like you've put on weight. Thanks. That should do it. That should be enough power. Now to turn it on. Sam and Max, but once again, I am too strong, and you have only seconds before... Wait, it can't be. The Devil's Toy Box? Devil's Toy Box? That's right, Jack, and it's ours. Yeah, go find your own toys. Ha, ha, ha. Perfect. You have led me right to the greatest prize of all. Soon your bothersome dimensional rift will close, and I will take the toy box and the one who can control it. Yes. Think of something quick, Sam. I don't like the way he's undressing me with his eyes. It's hard to believe that good old... It's even harder to believe... Shut it out! We live in cool, dark places! Pretty sloppy of you to miss this toy, Skunk Ape. It's the best one yet. Nonsense. It's worthless. Are you kidding me? It's just dripping with psychic power. Right, Max? Huh? Oh, right! Uh, that one gives me the power to, uh... Uh, automatically calculate the proper tip at restaurants. Nice one, Bonehead. It's a very practical power, Sam. They can't all be showstoppers. Give it to me. Now! Keep away from the big monkey. No fair! Give it! And so our heroes save the world once again, our villain undone by his own greed. It would seem a fitting conclusion. But this is not the end. Oh no, but merely a beginning. The overture, if you will, of a five-part symphony of mayhem that will blow your ever-loving mind. 
What is this mysterious toy box with its bizarre connection to Max? Is General Skunkarpe truly defeated? Will Sam ever find true love? Will Max be able to control his emerging powers? Or are his ominous visions of the future a sign of tragedy to come? I'll see you in the coming chapters to answer all of these questions and more. But for now, I leave you with this chilling conclusion. Ouch! Sucked right through three floors in a septic tank. There goes our security deposit. I wonder if our building is zoned to act as an interdimensional prison. Sam, what are they looking at? Holy heaping helpings of Herodotus on base with Marshall Stacks and a Wawa pedal. Is that us?